everybody. Today we've got round five of the 2024 GOP primary spinner battle. We're down to seven. Four candidates have already fallen, but there's some big names left. Donald Trump, some of you might say Doug Burgum, but we're going to eliminate one more today. So we've got the 2024 electoral map up here. I know it's not the same as the primary delegate system. This I think is much easier to do. It's much more fun. So who do you think is going to be eliminated this time? It could be any of them. It's completely random. And I think we should get right into the spinning. So we're going to start in Alaska, and we're going to see who's going to get on the map first this time. Number one, Donald Trump. He draws first blood with Alaska. Next, Hawaii. Four more electoral votes. This is going to be number seven, Francis Suarez. He has Hawaii. Now we go back up here to the West Coast with Washington. Twelve electoral votes. That's a good chunk in a seven-way race. That's number three, Larry Elder. He's on the map. Next state, Oregon. Eight more electoral votes. That's a number three that's going to stay in the Larry Elder column. Now we've got California. There's a massive amount of votes here. It's pretty much a guarantee to go on to the next round. Everyone wants to see their number come up. Let's see who's going to get them. This is going to be number four. That is Tim Scott taking California. Next, Nevada. Six electoral votes. That's a number six. Doug Burgum. He's on the map in round five. Next state, Idaho. Four electoral votes. Coming to number three, Larry Elder. Elder doing very well here in the Northwest. Next state, Utah. Six electoral votes. That's going to go to number six, Doug Burgum. Burgum has his second state. Now we've got Arizona. Eleven electoral votes. Number three, Larry Elder. We're having a great night so far. Next, Montana. Four electoral votes. We've got a number two. We've got Asa Hutchinson. Asa on the map. Next, Wyoming. Three electoral votes. Coming to number five. Chris Christie. He has his first state. All seven candidates now in on the action. Next, Colorado. Ten electoral votes. Going to number four. Tim Scott. Next, New Mexico. Five electoral votes. Number three, Larry Elder. Larry Elder with his fifth state already. Next, North Dakota. Doug Burgum's home state, but it goes to Donald Trump. Trump with his second state. South Dakota's next. Only three electoral votes, but they might be critical later on. Tim Scott has South Dakota. Now we've got Nebraska at large. Two electoral votes. That's a three. That's going to Larry Elder again. Now we've got three more electoral votes to give out in Nebraska's congressional districts. Here comes the first district. That's a two. That's Asa Hutchinson. Now we've got the second congressional district. That's a seven. Going to Suarez. How about Nebraska's third? This is normally a deep red district. This time it goes for Larry Elder. How about Kansas now? Six electoral votes. Number one, Donald Trump. Trump into double digits now. Next state, Oklahoma. Seven electoral votes. That's number two. That's Asa Hutchinson now. That takes us down to Texas. Forty electoral votes. That's the second most after California. Everybody wants this. Only one can have it. Who's going to get it? Number seven, Francis Suarez. He has Texas. Next, Minnesota. 10 electoral votes, going to number 6, Doug Burgum, taking Minnesota. Next, we've got Iowa, 6 more electoral votes, coming to Donald Trump. Missouri is next, another 10 electoral votes, that's going to help somebody. That's 5, that's Chris Christie. Everybody over double digits now. Arkansas is next, Asa Hutchinson's home state. But it goes to number six, DB, Doug Burgum. How about Louisiana? Eight electoral votes. That's number seven, Francis Suarez. Next state, Wisconsin. Ten more electoral votes. Going to number three, Larry Elder. How about Illinois? A lot of votes here, 19 of them. This is going to be a big boost for somebody. It's Larry Elder again. Larry Elder having a fine performance so far, but we're going to go into Michigan now. Key Rust Belt State. This is going to go to number three, Larry Elder again. Three straight for Elder. How about Indiana? 
Could Larry Elder go four straight, possibly? No, he can't. Donald Trump is going to take Indiana. Next state, Kentucky. Eight electoral votes. Going to number two, Asa Hutchinson. Next, Tennessee. Eleven electoral votes. That's going to go to number seven, Francis Suarez. How about Mississippi? Six more votes. Coming to Donald Trump, number one. Next state, Alabama. Nine electoral votes. That's going to number six, Doug Burgum. Burgum with another state. Now we're going to go down to Florida. 30 electoral votes. If you're trailing like Chris Christie, this could turn everything around for you. Or if you're Larry Elder in first place, this will take you right over 100. Let's spin it. Let's see who's going to win it. It's number five, Chris Christie. He does come back from last place with a big chunk of votes. That's all it takes. Your number has to come up at the right time. Let's see what happens in Georgia now. 16 electoral votes. That's going to number one, Donald Trump. Next state, South Carolina. Nine electoral votes. That's going to number four, Tim Scott. Good for Scott taking his home state. Next, North Carolina. 16 more votes. That's going to number three, Larry Elder. Elder now, over 100 electoral votes. Let's jump up here to Ohio. Another 17 electoral votes. That's going to go to number two. We've got Asa Hutchinson now taking Ohio. How about West Virginia? That's next. Four electoral votes. Going to number five, Chris Christie. Next, we go to the Northeast into Maine at large. Only two electoral votes. But they're going to go to number six, Doug Burgum. How about Maine's first congressional district? This is a blue district normally. And this time it's going to go to number six, Doug Burgum. One more district here in Maine. That's the second. Can Doug Burgum go three in a row? Number four, Tim Scott. He's actually going to take Maine's second. Now we've got New Hampshire. Four votes. Going to somebody, and that's going to be Doug Burgum, number six. How about Vermont? Three electoral votes. Those are going to go to number six, Doug Burgum, yet again. Now we've got New York, 28 electoral votes. It's getting late. Nobody really trailing badly. So let's spin it. Let's see who's going to get this big chunk of votes. It's number seven, Francis Suarez. He has New York. How about Massachusetts? That's next. 11 electoral votes. Going to number five, Chris Christie. Next state, Connecticut. Seven electoral votes. Going to number four, Tim Scott. Next state, Rhode Island. That has four electoral votes. Going to Suarez, number seven. Now we've got Chris Christie's home state of New Jersey. 14 electoral votes. It's going to Suarez again. Two in a row for Suarez. He's actually taken the lead over Larry Elder. How about that? Next, Delaware. Three electoral votes. You never know. It could be pivotal. Goes to Suarez yet again. Next state, Maryland. Ten more electoral votes. Going to number two, Asa Hutchinson. He has Maryland. Next, Washington, D.C., Three electoral votes. Going to number three, Larry Elder. How about Pennsylvania? That's the next state. 19 electoral votes. Going to number three, Larry Elder. And now we've got one state left. That's Virginia. And we've got a tie for last place. It's Asa Hutchinson and Doug Burgum. So one of those two is not going to move on. So we might have a tie here if it's anything other than a two or a six. Let's see what happens. Here it comes. To number five, that's Chris Christie. So we do have a tie. So what we're going to do is we're just going to keep spinning it until we see either a two or a six. And whoever's number comes up first, they're going to be the winner. It's a shame to go down this way, but Asa and Doug both tied at 47. Somebody has to lose. Here's the first spin. Two or a six. Who's it going to be? It's a five. Let's roll it again. Next spin. That's a number six. That goes to Doug Burgum. So Asa Hutchinson will be eliminated after two spins. So Burgum beats Hutchinson in overtime, in extra innings, whatever you want to call it. It doesn't have to make sense as long as we're having fun. You never know which way the spins are going to go. Sometimes crazy things happen. Take a look at this map. Larry Elder had a phenomenal night. He won a lot of states. 
Francis Suarez came out of nowhere to take the lead toward the end, but Larry Elder came back. He finishes first with 125. Suarez, 113. Asa and Doug tied for last at 47. Donald Trump scrapes by with 51. He's going on to round six along with everybody else. And I will leave it there for now. So let me know in the comments. Did this happen just as you predicted? Did you have Larry Elder coming in first on this one? Hopefully you had a good time. Let me know down below. On your way out, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you for watching, and I will see you on the next video.